Hello and welcome to Emerson School Student News. I'm your host Kaiser. Emerson School Student News. I'm Kaiser. On today's show, we're gonna see Max doing movie reviews. Hello. Today we'll be reviewing Hook. Now this movie is a strange one. Unlike Mrs. Doubtfire, the movie didn't fare very well by critics. The movie had a troubled history. If you'd like to know more about that, check out the documentary name. Yes, the world's doco of the movie. But for me, it was a very flawed movie. Like, really flawed. The, the story felt a bit rushed at, at the start. By the end, it did eventually pick up some scenes. The step... The sets are amazing, the score is fantastic, the visual score is pretty good. But the story, not really. A quick recap. The story is about an adult Peter Pan who has forgotten all about his childhood. In his new life, he is known as Peter Banning, a successful but unimaginative and workaholic lawyer. With a wife, Wendy's with a wife, Wendy's granddaughter, and two children. That's very nice. However, when Captain Hook's Captain Hook, the enemy of his past, kidnaps his children, he returns to Netherland to save them. Along the journey, he reclaims his memories of his past and becomes a better person. Now for the rating, I give the movie a five out of ten. A very flawed movie. If you want to check out the movie and see the fantastic visual effects. The score and sets well. It is the kind of it's kind. It is kind of for you, but for me, it's the weakest out of Stephen King's lineup of movies. Back to you, Kyle. Yeah, I do like it. <laughs> now I get some weather reports. Hi, my name is Ali. I'm doing weather report. Saturday, hot weather. Sunday, Melbourne weather, cold. Back to you, studio. Put sunscreen on and don't walk outside because the sun's bright as the sun. <laughs> and finally, here how we went at Car for Day Change in One. As many of you know, it was basketball and volleyball, and we were very excited for the inter-school sport, and both t basketball teams did very well. And when we came up against Minerbeck, now that was a, we were pretty nervous about that game, because they are a pretty good team, mm -hmm. and one of Emerson's few arrivals. At, but. We calmed our nerves down. We were able to win the map, win the grand final, twenty to ten. For those coming up to senior school, I'd like to give some advice that when you play basketball in the senior group, just be very careful because we've got there are some hard teams. But do your best and you know don't always give up hope if you're down because there's always a miracle for a comeback. Yeah, We're playing as a team is very important, especially in this type of level of basketball. Especially if you're in the A grade, because I've heard that's pretty hard as well. But you always got to make sure you work together, because teamwork is always what wins the game and always gets you to the big dance as well. Yes, I was very proud to represent Emerson at the carnival yes, last week and I couldn't be more prouder to win it for them. Next, coming up this term will be soccer and hockey. So please make sure you meet at the PE room or to sign up. It'll be good to see you all there. Carver day was on Friday and there was like volleyball and basketball. Uh, take out the World Disabled Exhibition. Here you go. 
I need some payments. You get the ball. For us. Do we have to put it? Still there? That that was good footage, and it was like really good footage. What well, great efforts, everyone! That's it for the trick. This end on a joke. Don't knock. Who's there? Uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Who? Donkey Kong on a bike. <laughs>